Okay, hello again. Good morning. Um, I will be explaining the lift equation in this video. So if you haven't already gone over Bernoulli's principle or the corresponding videos behind it, I would suggest doing that. Um, basically, the lift equation is the numbers behind the theory of lift. It's so it's a basically you find out that everything in aviation is backed by numbers. Uh, charts and diagrams are good but the quicker you get into the meat of the matter, the math behind it, the better. So um, as a private pilot, what you're required to know about the lift equation is essentially that's what it is. Um, you don't really get into the numbers behind it. I think what I'll do is I'll make another video which explains, really delves into the separate numbers because I once took a class that de dealt specifically with the lift equation and it was a lot more complex than you could imagine. But for now, I'll go ahead and write it out, kind of explain the certain elements behind it, and then we'll go from there. Um, okay, so this is this is the lift equation right here. Um, basically, what it states is that your total lift is determined by basically your coefficient of lift. So I'll go ahead and draw that out. Your coefficient of lift. Now your coefficient of lift, when you see this, essentially what it talks about, it refers to angle of attack um, or what that certain airfoil or lifting surfaces is capable of producing, the type of lift that that area is, that lifting surface is capable of. Now it primarily draws into your angle of attack, but there's also other factors behind it. But basically when you see this, you want to think angle of attack. And what is angle of attack? Well, we'll explain that later in other videos. So it's your coefficient of lift multiply, so we'll do that right there, by your density halved. So we'll draw that out. Your density halved. And basically your density being the air density uh, that you're in. Because the density of your air is going to affect your performance of your aircraft. Multiply by your velocity squared. So I'll go ahead and put that right there. So your velocity squared, which is how fast you're going. Um, and this actually is a lot more important than a lot of people will think, primarily because your velocity, whatever you have, is squared. People tend to have this idea in aviation, or at least early on, that your velocity is going to have a direct impact on your takeoff and your stopping distance. But what happens is is that your velocity or how fast your aircraft is actually going to in some cases triple or quadruple your rollout distance because of this right here the fact that it's squared um, so that's just something important to remember so multiplied by your area which is right there your area of course being your wing area which is your length divided by your width and all that is going to come together and give you your total lift right there. So we'll go. We can go go more into detail on this. It's actually you can actually break one of these down. You can actually take every number here, every dynamic here, and tear it down and make it a whole class. I could probably do a one two hour video on every one of these elements of the lift equation. But for right now, what you'll be required to know is this essentially explains in numbers the theory behind lift you could theoretically you know predict how much how an aircraft is going to fly by taking this equation right here and running the numbers behind it but uh it's pretty complex but for right now this is your lift equation if you have any questions let me know and hopefully this is uh this will be pretty good for you